Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, for today's tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you how to fix the Google Play Store waiting for download problem. And of course, this is the 2020 edition. So, of course, I'm going to pack all of the known fixes for the issue where you're seeing waiting for download when you are in the process of either updating or installing an application. All right. So, as we said before, guys, this error involves the Google Play Store. So if you're getting that particular issue as seen on screen here, I'll put the error on screen so you can have an idea of what it looks like. It can apply to any application and this can also apply to any Android device. All right, so let's get straight into it, guys. The first thing I want you to do if you're having the error is simply go ahead and for a quick measure, just reboot your device. Sometimes it's just a simple error and all you got to do is either power off or restart. Once you do one of those, it should start back up again. Go ahead and um, relaunch the application and see if that fixes the problem for you. All right, the next thing I want you to do, guys, is just go ahead and check your internet connection. If you're on mobile data, make sure that your internet connection is working or working correctly. Make sure it's not um, super slow or you're having um, connectivity issues. The same would apply to Wi-Fi. So just go ahead and check out your connection. Make sure you're on a very reliable connection. Um, of course, Wi-Fi would be better, seeing that in more cases that the Wi-Fi would give you better um, service. All right, so once you're connected, just simply go ahead and try the um, app again all right, to see if the download is um, progressing and will complete. All right, if that doesn't work, simply go ahead. If that doesn't work, guys, simply go ahead. And what you're going to do is you're going to launch um, Google Play. All right, someone's going to go um, launch Google Play. Once you're in Google Play, simply next, you're going to, and I'm going to change the theme. All right, so I've changed to a light theme so you can easily see. So next, you're going to click these three dots up here. And of course, you should be in the control center here. And of course, this is the latest update. I'm going to go into um, setting. And once you're in here, we're going to look for some key settings. And we're going to set these um, back to their defaults. Or we're going to set them to um, what they should be set to for best results. All right. So the first thing we're going to do in here, guys, is just scroll all the way down. And we're going to make sure that um, the Play Store version is updated to the latest version. So simply tap on Play Store version. And as you see here, it says Google Play Store is up to date. If it was not, you should get a update. Make sure that you have update to the latest version of the Play Store. And of course, if the Play Store is not updated, it can cause this error. So simply go ahead and hit OK. So we're on the latest version. Um, if it's not, as I said, just make sure that you go ahead and update. Next, make sure that you check the auto update um, settings. And of course, any other related settings to download. And of course, you'll see it shows here. It shows auto update settings and it shows up download preferences. Now, of course, the auto update settings is not really um, important. The key one here is the up download preferences. So go ahead and tap up download preferences. Once you're here, make sure it's set to optimize. Um, for example, if it's set to ask, that's not um, a good idea. And of course, if it's set to over Wi-Fi only, it's not a good idea as you might be on mobile data. Some people might be on Wi-Fi. So make sure it's set to over um, any network, meaning it will choose the best one. And of course, that's the best setting. So make sure that is there. Next, guys, you're going to search for clear local search history and simply go in here where it says clear local search history. Simply go ahead and click and notice it says remove the searches you have performed from this device. So it's quite simple. Simply just go ahead and um, hit the option and it will clear um, the cache that's related to those. Now, if you have a lot of searches over time, the cache that's built up can affect the function of the app. And of course, when you clear local search history, it frees up that space and of course allows the app to work um, as it should. All right. So once it's done all of these guys and you have um, done all the settings that I recommend, you can simply and you have done all the settings I recommend. You can simply close out the application. So once you close out the app, as just shown, um, of course, um, you could also restart. It's always a good after clearing anything related to the cache to do a quick restart and start back up again and try the application once more and see if the app will um, download this time. Now, if that fails, we're going to go into the 
um, other things you can do. Now, of course, if it fails, as usual, you can go in here. You're going to go into settings. You're going to go down to um, apps. Right in here, you're going to search for the app in um, question. And of course, we are dealing with Google Play. So you look for two key features, which is Google Play and Google Play Services. So as you see here, there's Google Play Services and there's Google Play Store. So you're going to go ahead and do the same for both. You'll come in here, you're going to go to Storage. And of course, right here, you're going to clear the cache. So it's quite simple. Let's go ahead and um, clear the cache. And of course, if there's an option here for um, clearing the data, you're going to clear both the cache and the data. All right, so let's go ahead and um, clear cache. Notice that cache is cleared. If there's an option for clear data, go ahead and clear data as it might be on yours. Next, you're going to go back. And of course, you're going to go into permissions. Make sure that it has all the permissions it needs. Anything that's denied, including stuff like location, just go ahead and allow the services for location. I'm not going to do it right here. I'm just showing you what to do. You're going to go back. You're going to go back again. Next, you're going to look for a Google Play Store. Once you're here, this time you're going to um, go into um, storage. And again, you're going to clear the cache. And then you're going to clear data, especially clear data. You're going to hit OK. I'm not going to do it on this. I'm just demonstrating, as I said. And of course, once you clear cache and data, you're going to go back. And of course, you're going to go into permissions. Now, make sure all permissions are enabled, including those that are denied, such as for contacts and location. And once you do all of that, guys, go ahead again and, of course, restart. And once you restart, um, I want you to launch the application, retest to make sure that what you have done has taken effect. All right, guys, um, next thing to do, guys, make sure that your phone is updated. Sometimes the error itself can be caused by the phone. So it's always a good idea to make sure that your phone is up to date. So go to software updates and you're going to download the latest updates and make sure that your phone is in good working condition. If there's an update, go ahead and update. Another thing that you can do, guys, also is reset app preferences. So come back in here, you're going to hit here and there's an option here that says reset app preferences. And it gives you the option right here. Go ahead and hit reset for app preferences. Um, after doing that, go ahead and try the application again. If that fails, of course, um, you're going to come back in once more. And you, this time, you're going to make sure that you're in here. You're going to scroll down all the way to here. You're going to go into about phone. And you're going to scroll down. You're going to hit reset. Um, of course, you can always search within settings for reset. And the key thing here is to look for the option. We're not going to delete everything. We're just going to reset the settings back to their defaults. All right. So from here, guys, we're not going to do factory data reset. That one's going to erase all your data. So do not choose that. You're going to look for this one here that says um, you're going to reset network settings. And of course, notice it says it's going to res reset um, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other network-based um, settings. And of course, um, that's the one that we want. All right, so you're going to choose um, this one that says reset network settings. If that doesn't fail, um, if that fails, I should say, you can also try reset settings, which is going to reset all settings back to their default. As I said, either one or two or both. Just try both of them. Um, usually one of those um, tend to work. It should reset stuff back to their default and is a great way of fixing the problem itself. All right, guys, so um, I've given you um, several options. In total, that's about um, 10 options to try in order to fix the issue where, of course, as I said, you're seeing the error where you're seeing Play Store waiting for download can happen to um, any app, as I am um, indicated. Now, of course, guys, if you did all of those, um, it's always a good idea to give um, everything one last um, reboot. And of course, once you reboot after trying all of those, go back again and try to relaunch the Play Store and see if the problem is um, fixed. Sometimes, as I said, guys, you just need to give it a little time, even if all of those are failed. It's unlikely that every last comment, sorry, every last um, tip will fail, but of course, it's always a good idea to just try out everything that I've suggested, and if anything, simply just give it a little time, come back later on and try again. And of course, guys, that um, sums up everything that you can possibly do to fix this um, issue. One of those always fixes it for me. And of course, guys, um, if um, anything, 
if all else fails, the only other thing I can think of is to do a complete reset, which should be a um, last resort, which would involve you backing up your device and then doing the reset. But I don't think it will come to that. All right, guys. So this is Ricardo Gardner as usual. Then a detailed tip on how to fix the issue as described here. All right. So Ricardo Gardner from Block Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.